Hello, darlings. Hey, it's the last week in March. So let's do a quick March flip through. What I had going on? I'm back. Hold on, she's back. Do any of you live with crazy people? Okay. Anyway, let's do a March flip through because it's almost April. I know I did a video of this, so you'll have to go find it if you want to know who did this because I forgot to put them down. I do remember that I loved it, but that's all I got. So let's see. Um, hmm, not a lot got done. Didn't exercise much. Didn't drink my protein shakes. Didn't do my uh, language learning. But look, I worked. I worked pretty hard. Read some books. Got some meds. Yeah, not a lot going on that week. But I still am in love with this So Cute Planner washi. That I remember. I just can't remember where I got that. Which is bizarre because I know I said it. So why didn't I just write it on the bottom? I don't know. Alright, yeah. I, I got it a little weird. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, then there was, there was Grogu. Can you hear that? Now the dog is making groaning noises. Jesus. Surrounded by noisy things and people. Um, once again, looks like I pretty much worked and uh, <laughs> read some books. <coughs> Saw some movies. Wow, did I really see just see Cyrano on the 9th like 20 days ago? It seems like forever that I was tortured by that. Hmm. Mm, yeah, not a lot got done there. Hmm. This is the week I went and took care of my grand dogs. Looks like I got a little bit of work done. Did some TV. Took the dogs for a walk every day. But look how pretty it is. This fabulously planned one is good. They always have the prettiest colors. And then, this is yesterday's week. I mean, last week. These cute little girls didn't get a lot done. Did not get a lot done. But hey, there was a nice spring day and then like three days of rain. And then day night with my bestie, and I sorted stickers, and ate cookies, and read books, and yesterday's, I should have filled that in, yesterday's daily gratitude was, she loves cooking, because I went over there for the Oscars, and she always makes the most delicious things, which I, she, and then she tells me how she made them, that I could do them myself, but we all know I don't cook. Read some books. <laughs> it was a big true crime week for me. I watched I watched a lot of true crime, and this is this week's. Is, aren't they gorgeous? I think I did a plan with me on these too last year. I still love them very much, and I actually had a a whale from Run with Craft Scissors. Makes me very happy that I had one that matched. Today I'm going to the library. Mm -hmm. And my phone service has been turned off because I couldn't pay the bill. And tomorrow I'm going out with my gay best friend for the day. Yeah, it's going to be a good day. Oh, these whales, you guys. I love them so. All right, y'all. i That's all I was going to do. Just drop in for a quick flip through. You know why we're here? We might as well flip through another of my winter stories. So if you haven't been watching, I've been using all my leftovers to just plan my butt off, and in winter, I'm really depressed. So this is the last batch of the winter ones. Oh, that's from last year. Just ignore that. I made this gorgeous jellyfish one. Um, it's a beautiful kit. It comes on big, huge pages. And I 
the name's not printed on it, and I've had them for a couple of years, so I just don't remember who they were from. So if you made this, this is one of my favorite kits. You've got my cool watercolors that I love, and the jellies, and I will always love jellies. I would do a whole year of jellyfish planners if I could. It's just so pretty. So pretty. And these little dots came off a nice sheet too, but it also doesn't have a name on it. It's not the same for people who did this. So if anyone knows who did this, please comment below or tell them to come comment below because I am flat out in love with this jelly right here. I would actually buy another one of these kits for next year. That's how happy I'm about it. And then I did this one from Paper Dolls. If you guys haven't looked at her stuff, she, you should. Not only are these adorable, um, and her shipping's pretty fast, despite the fact she's overseas. Just all her stuff is so cute. I used some leftovers and some Happy Planner to get in here too, but I just really like the way this came out. And I used the big ones of these. There are smaller stickers like this. This working sticker. Um, but I used these bigger ones. I kind of wish I'd moved to Rover and gotten to use one more. But at the same time, I really like the way this came out. I think it's very accessible. And I'm all about the books, you know. And when you order sheets from her... Not these sheets, because th this is like a sheet. This is a sheet, and this is a sheet. Um, well, not the whole sheet. I didn't really use it all, but most of it, because it's adorable. And um, when you order them, you get to pick their hair color, which is really nice, because she does have a gray. And I'm going gray, so I use the gray one for working. Although... I'm not going completely gray, so I'm probably going to keep coloring that mess. But right now, I got some gray roots. Unfortunately, they're not like all gray. You know what I mean? I've just got like the front that's turned gray, and the rest of it isn't. I wish it would just all go. Anyway, allow your pur your purpose to guide your priorities. My priorities are always book books. Books are my books are my priorities. I really like those paper dolls ones. Seriously, it's it's P A P E R D O L L Z. Go look her up. Her stuff is always beautiful. And every I think month she has um, a special like set that she puts out. All right, what's going on here? Oh yeah, I did. Oh no, it got across your face. Bad Sagittarius. Bad. I found these really old Lisa, well, none of the little ones stayed on, um, Lisa Frank stickers, and I was straight up like, oh my god, Lisa Frank stickers. None of the words stayed on, okay, but you're Taurus, so I'll just slap you in there. I don't know these well enough, I think that's probably Taurus, right, because it's got horns. These stickers are like from maybe the early 90s when my child was small. So, <laughs> so there you have it. That's why they're not sticking because they're really old and I found them in a container that in a bin that had been in storage for a decade. Is this Cancer? Might be Cancer. Might be Leo. I don't know who this is, you guys. What is this? It, it looks like a, a sperm. So if this, if you know which one this is, let me know. Virgo, she, they stayed where they belonged, but I just really wanted to use these stickers, and I knew that I either had to use them or throw them away. And they were so old that I just used them. And then I just used Happy Planner to fill in, because they always have colors that will match anything, right? And I am an Aries. This is me down here. My daughter is a Capricorn. That's her up there, looking cute. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's all I wanted to do on that. Just use those stickers, and I thought, 
let's make it functional, not just pretty. You see these are the leftovers from other years because I, I have a lot of fish sides of the planner for some reason, and so that's why you keep seeing blank on these leaves, because I didn't have the other side to match up. Oh, and there was my, you've already seen this, there was my stuff from my shop. For St. Patrick's Day, the St. Patrick's Day um, release. I didn't do a lot. I mean, I put this down, but then I'm saving it for like next year or something. So I still really like the med stickers, but I'm glad I made them bigger for the shop. And I love that snake. And then I did some every minute of story candy because. I found I had like five, five, probably five every minute of story spreads that I had never, I mean kits I had never used. So I started using them and this one is just adorable. I love this little marshmallow guy with the chocolate and sprinkles on his head. Just cute. Sometimes you just need some cute. my story ink studio I think I might have also filmed that one still love that still think it's gorgeous kind of can't wait to use it I might you know pull it and use it this year honestly um I don't remember where Maleficent is from you can tell when I was really depressed because there's not as much and there's no name I always remember that unless I'm depressed, so... But that is the whole point of my winter planning was to deal with my depression. Yeah, I love Maleficent. She's my favorite. Um, I might have already done this one, too. The problem is, I don't know if I've already shown these to you, or if it's just because I remember them. But this was a sheet that... Just a single sheet that I was sent, and I wouldn't use, use it up, so... Some goodies. This Oh Hi Michelle um, meditation sticker is still one of my favorites. I'm almost out. Hamilton. I love Hamilton. The music. I just think it, they did so well in the music. And The King is my favorite. I'm not gonna lie. The songs are just hysterical. And I did some more Sweet Kawaii. I'm pretty sure I just mixed and matched instead of doing the whole kit. I feel like these were all in the same kit, but I'm not sure that these were. But the colors are the same, so they might have been. Who knows? I've got so much Sweet Kawaii design that I just don't know. And there's Frank, my best friend. Frank the Yeti. She also has really cute um, lotus flowers that I can use for meditation. Awesome. And did you notice this is a skin tape care routine sticker? Very cute. Very cute. Oh, <laughs> my Nargles and our experts. I was trying to figure out whose this was, and I couldn't find the page that had their name on it too. So if this is your picture with you, with a man and a woman, a redhead woman and a puppy, or you know who these people are, please tell me because this is one of my favorite kits. I just really love these. And I had this cool iridescent washi to use, which just made me feel better. Luna is my favorite. Luna is my favorite. Oh, I just decided I liked this. Um, there it is. Pure, pretty cute planner. I love this sheet that I had, or kit that I had. I still have a sheet of some of it left. I just loved it so much. But the colors are just bright and beautiful, so I just kind of made colors. I kind of did a color spread. 
all the colors that would match. This cracks me up. This sticker is from when my child was growing up, when my daughter was growing up. We would always get those free things in the mail that they wanted you sub to subscribe to, to, and so they'd send you some stickers with it. That's one of those. I found all sorts of stuff when I closed to storage this year. Lots of goodies from lots of people in this one. Absolutely love that phoenix. I love her art, and I didn't write down who it was, but she's awesome. You should go get her. Uh, Sarah Elizabeth Prince, this pretty purple flower one. Very nice. Very nice. I kind of like how I did that. Kind of like the balance on that. I'm pretty sure I, I did a YouTube of this. But after that YouTube, I went did go back and use that Go For It sticker. That's how I remember because I had said I was going to use it and I set it aside. And then the video was over and I found it. And I went, oh, better do that. So that's just gorgeous. Use some um, Recollections or Recollections bot, um, pad of stickers from Michaels. I had just quit coffee <laughs> when I did it. I have so many coffee stickers. And I think I might have YouTubed this one, but I'm not sure you got to see it because my laptop was eating a lot of videos at this time. So if you have, I mean, here's another one for you. I turned everything to tea and, and booze because I'm a, a tea hound and a booze hound. No, that doesn't sound right. And that's it. That's all the rest of my winter my winter um, depression plannings. I think they came out really cute and really good. And that's all I got for right now, y'all. I um, will see you on YouTube on Wednesday and Saturdays. And go forth and the world's crazy and all you can do is keep putting one foot in front of the other and being as good to yourself as you can. So do that and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.